first discuss when we use the term digital supply chain, how do we define that at SAP, right? Uh, we include all the business processes from design to operate, which includes the supply chain planning topic, includes the logistics area, the warehouse management, transportation management area, but also the product innovation, manufacturing and asset management. So if you will, from a business process perspective, we talk about design, the manufacturing topic, delivery, and then the operational topic. And then in the center, we have planning. Why is in this planning in the center? Because it's a, a step which is not just one step, it, planning occurs all the time. The volatility topic really means a chief operating officer needs to focus on efficiency. Uh, it's all about how can I be as, as efficient as possible and really focusing on the cost element. On the other hand, the second part of the brain needs to work on innovation yeah, and changing the business models. Running businesses is completely different. And in many, many industries uh, and in all the regions around the world, this is a key topic for a chief operating officer to really uh, transform or help to transform the company right? by, by introducing new supply chain processes, new uh, uh, manufacturing processes. How does this drive revenue? Right? Just think about the opportunities and possibilities. If I know what my customer wants right? and if I have the information from the customer about how we satisfied they are. Yeah? Really thinking about the experience from the customer on the manufacturing side, on the uh, um, uh, delivery side and also on the services side. This really drives innovation, right? If I know, for example, from a product innovation perspective, the customer doesn't like the, the, the design or also has some comments about some changes on the, on the product itself or doesn't like the quality, the earlier I know that, the, the faster I can feed that back to the engineering department, the faster I can feed that back to the manufacturing department to really work on improving the processes. And with that, I really not only focus on the efficiency, but really drive on the growth of the company. The digital supply chain needs to be a connected supply chain. Uh, connected means I need to connect to my business partners. Uh, it's really networks uh, which we need to build here. And these business partners, it's not just the supplier, it's also the equipment manufacturer connected with the manufacturer. It's the logistics service providers, the carriers, the freight forwarders which need to be connected. So you have many, many business partners uh, which need to be connected digitally with the enterprise. Yeah? This by itself creates visibility. Yeah? And if you ask right now companies how many of these business partners are really digitally connected, it's probably 10%, right? So it's a lot of work still to do to really build these networks. On the other hand, connectivity means we need to leverage the things, yeah? the assets, the machines, the trucks, everything which can talk uh, in order to build the digital twin of the supply chain, uh, not just of the product, but really of the supply chain. So if I have this real-time picture from the, from the real world about the supply chain, if I have the information from my business network, now I really have the possibility to see what's going on and have total visibility. So now the next step is this enables me to change the supply chain from an alert-driven reactive supply chain to a predictive supply chain. So we need to use machine learning, artificial intelligence in order to really enable that. And there are already examples like predictive maintenance. There's, of course, the uh, predictive transportation where you determine the ETA. There's the predictive quality management topic and, and, and. So it's really going again across the design to operate area. And then the next step is I automate the processes as much as possible. So here we really use technology again in order to automate.